learning objectives. After completing this module, learners will be able to explain new forms of imperial art, recall the history of painting, distinguish between Indian art and Western art, Discuss the development of Indian art. Explain the art of Raja Ravi Varma. Enlist the different visions of national art. New forms of imperial art. New art forms, styles, materials and techniques were introduced during colonial rule which were adapted by Indian artists for local patrons and markets in both elite and popular circles. The changes were seen primarily on paintings and printmaking. In 18th century, a stream of European artists came to India accompanied by the British traders and rulers. The main feature of the European painting was realism. Oil painting was also introduced in India by the European artists. It enabled artists to produce images that looked real. Paintings were based on varied subjects. However, the European artists' common intention was to emphasize the superiority of Britain, its culture, its people and its power. Looking for the picturesque picturesque landscape painting that depicted India as quaint land to be explored by travelling British artists was one of the popular imperial traditions. The most famous artists of this tradition were Thomas Daniel and his nephew William Daniel. In some of the images, they showed the British rule bringing modern civilization to India. In others' images, depicting buildings reminding the glory of past and decaying ancient civilization. Portraits of Authority Portrait painting was another tradition of art that became popular in colonial India. The rich and powerful people, both Indian and British, were very fond of self-portraits. In colonial India, portraits were life-size images that looked lifelike and real. The art of making portraits is known as portraiture that served as an ideal means of displaying the luxurious lifestyles, wealth and status generated by British in India. European artists like Johann Zofani visited India in search of profitable commissions. He was born in Germany. He lived in England and came to India and stayed for five years. He depicted the British as superior and imperious, flaunting their clothes, standing regally or sitting arrogantly and living a life of luxury while Indians were portrayed occupying a shadowy background in his paintings. Many Indian Nawabs got their portraits painted by European painters. Nawab Muhammad Ali Khan of Arcot commissioned two European artists, Tilly Kettle and George Willison, to paint his portraits and gifted these paintings to the King of England and the directors of East India Company. Painting History History painting was a third category of imperial art. These paintings dramatized and recreated various episodes of British imperial history and enjoyed prestige and became very popular in the late 18th and early 19th century. British and their victories in India served as rich material for history painters in Britain. They painted the various wars in which the colonial rule had defeated the Indians and British were celebrating their power, their victories and their supremacy. 
The first painting of history was produced by Francis Heyman in 1762. When the British defeated the Indian army of Nawab Sirajuddola in the Battle of Plessy and made Mir Jafar the Nawab of Murshidabad. The painting shows Mir Jafar welcoming Lord Clive. Robert Ka Potter painted the defeat of Tipu Sultan of Mysore in 1799 at the famous Battle of Seringapatam. It is a painting full of action and energy. The painting dramatizes the event and glorified the British triumph. Imperial history paintings were created as a public memory of imperial triumph to show that the British were invincible and powerful. What happened to the court artists? There were different Indian traditions of art in different courts. In Mysore, Tipu Sultan resisted the European art and continued to encourage his tradition of mural paintings. The court of Murshidabad had a different trend. The British had successfully installed Nawabs on the throne. First, Mir Jafar, followed by Mir Qasim, after he defeated Sirajuddaula. The Nawabs encouraged local miniature artists to absorb the tastes and artists' style of British. The local artists of Murshidabad began to adopt the elements of European realism. They used perspective, that is, style of painting which creates a sense of distance between objects that are near and those at a distance. They used various shades to make the figures realistic. The local courts lost their wealth and power. They could not support and pay the painters because of the establishment of British power in local courts. Local painters produced a huge number of images of local plants and animals, historical buildings and monuments, festivals, etc. And these pictures were collected by the East India Company officials and were known as company paintings. The New Popular Indian Art a new world of popular art developed in 19th century in many of the cities in India. Scroll painting was developed by local villagers called potas or potters. Kaligat, a temple in Bengal, was expanding as a commercial and administrative centre. Mythological themes were the main art forms for the scroll painters producing images of gods and goddesses. Kaligat painters began to use shading to give them a rounded form to make images look like three-dimensional but were not realistic and lifelike. Early Kaligat paintings used a bold, deliberately non-realistic style for depicting large and powerful figures with minimum number of lines, detail and colours. The Kaligat pictures were printed in large numbers and sold in the market. In late 19th century, mechanical printing presses were set up in different parts of India which helped in producing larger number of printings. Calcutta Art Studio was set up in late 19th century in Calcutta and produced lifelike images of eminent Bengali personalities as well as mythological pictures. In the early 20th century, with the spread of nationalism, the studio produced popular prints with elements of nationalism. Some of them have Bharat Mata appearing as a goddess carrying the national flag or nationalist heroes sacrificing their head to Bharat Mata. The Search for a National Art 
the impact of religions, culture and the spirit of nationalism on art was strongly visible by the end of the 19th century. Both modern and Indian style mixture were developed by many painters. The Art of Raja Ravi Verma The first artists who tried to combine modern and national style was Raja Ravi Verma. Raja Ravi Verma was from the family of the Maharaja of Travancore in Kerala. Raja Ravi Verma was a master in the western art of oil painting and realistic life study, but he mostly painted themes from Indian mythology. He mainly painted scenes from the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. On the outskirts of Bombay, Raja Ravi Verma had set up a picture production team and printing press. A different vision of national art. A new group of nationalist artists in Bengal gathered around Abhinindranath Tagore, the nephew of Rabindranath Tagore. They opposed the art of Ravi Verma as imitative of Western style and declared that Western and modern art could not be used to depict the nation's ancient myths and legends. They wanted to revival and turning of inspiration to medieval Indian traditions of miniature painting and the ancient art of mural paintings in the Ajanta caves. They received inspiration from Rajput style of paintings. The art of Abhinindranath Tagore and group were influenced by the Japanese paintings that can be seen in some of the paintings. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Paintings were based on varied subjects. However, the European artist's common intention was to emphasize the superiority of Britain, its culture, its people and its power. Picturous landscape painting that depicted India as quaint land to be explored by travelling British artists was one of the popular imperial traditions. Portrait painting was another tradition of art that became popular in colonial India. European artists like Johann Zofani visited India in search of profitable commissions. He was born in Germany, migrated to England and came in India and stayed for five years. History painting was a third category of imperial art. These paintings dramatized and recreated various episodes of British imperial history and enjoyed prestige and became very popular in the late 18th and early 19th century. Robert Kerr Potter painted the defeat of Tipu Sultan of Mysore in 1799 at the famous Battle of Seringapatam. It is a painting full of action and energy. The painting dramatizes the event and glorified the British triumph. The local artists of Murshidabad began to adopt the elements of European realism. They used perspective, that is, style of painting which creates a sense of distance between objects that are near and those at a distance. They used various shades to make the figures realistic. Raja Ravi Verma was one of the first artists who tried to combine modern and national style.